Matthew chapter 14. Matthew chapter 14. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus and said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead. Resurrection. And therefore mighty works do show forth themselves of him. So what Herod thinks is this is John the Baptist walking around. The ghost. And he's doing wonders in vain. And like Elijah, John the Baptist did not show up. Elijah's returning with Moses in the tribulation. And in Moses and tribulations are going to be deaths. Well, we're going to read about a death in a moment. For Herod had laid hold on John the Baptist and bound him, put him, locked him up, tied him up, and put him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife. For John had said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. Adultery. John preached it like it was, and he was put in cuffs and put in jail. And your weakling Christians, your weakling Baptists, your weakling Baptists, you ought not to say nothing, you ought not to cause trouble, you ought to pray for everybody, so everybody love. Aren't we Baptists? There's John the Baptist, what did he say? That's adultery! And John the Baptist is not the father of the Baptist. <laughs> he was John Baptizer, <laughs> the Baptist. It's funny, you know, they called themselves Baptist, but how many how many people did they baptize? Oh. Uh, you were baptized, but how many did you baptize? John didn't get the name Baptist not baptizing. This little side note didn't cost you anything. For John said unto him, It's not lawful for thee to have her. Adultery. And when he would have had put him to death, he was going to murder John. Because John told him this, the, the sin that he was involved in, adultery. The king hated the preacher because of the truth. That's why you got a lot of your Baptists, your, your, your Baptist preachers, and your Baptist Sunday school teachers. That's why they, they mellow down. They don't want the world to hate them. They want to be lovey dovey. And, 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 you know, down here in Daytona Beach, the, some of these Daytona preachers, pastors, Sunday school teachers, they get in hawk with, with the Daytona 500 races. And they, are, they sit in the council with the mayor of Daytona. And they get food from the from the grocery store and they get all kind of privileges and when they go to the track when they talk about their ministry going to Daytona 500 they don't stand out in the street preaching they don't pass out gospel tracks they drive around on little golf carts with cookies and they drive people from one part of the 500 to the inside of 500 and that's their service to God They are liked by the community. They are enjoyed by the community. They don't get yelled at and screamed at and hollered at. They don't get the police called on them in the community because they're just so great and wonderful. Dang, Baptists! The Baptists said you're, that's adultery. Don't pass gold. Don't collect $200. Go. I'd kill you if I didn't send you to jail. That's church history. Jesus, the most perfect man ever, with the perfect love, with, with the perfect rebuke, with the perfect attitude, and they said, crucify him. You ain't Baptist. You're a spineless jellyfish in the church age of Laodiceans. That's what you are. 
and you don't like it. You don't like my free. You don't like hearing Stalin says about this uh, pagan is Christmas, Christmas with an extra S. Uh, Merry Christ. I don't like when he says, oh, yeah, me. I don't like. I, we love Christmas. We love the gifts. We just don't love it in January when we get our credit card bill. But this is so great. It, isn't it the time after Thanksgiving, the Christmas time, and put Christ back in Christmas, and no one says Merry Christmas? Hey, Google, go, 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 go. You know, they had the chance they put me in jail like with John the Baptist. You know what they do today? They unfriend me on Facebook. I preach the truth. I'm not ashamed of it. I don't care if my pastor sees my post. I don't care if he listens to my message. I'm going to preach the truth. You don't like it? Like, like, the, like the Southern Baptist preacher I had. I sat under. Like the preacher I sat under down south. Like, like the... the, the the, the famous preacher that it's in Florida right now. And I sat under and you know, I went up to him. I said, "Your VBS decorations—they're just nonsense. It's it's uh, uh, um, what do you call it? distraction." We'll be back here next week when, when the VBS is over. And he said, don't come back. What was my sin? I told the preacher that there are too many decorations. I was deterred for too many decorations, Pastor. Oh, never mind the list I got two or three weeks later. Which includes, you have on your car offensive bumper sticker. That your dog is smarter than, than a high school grad. He is! <laughs> and would have put him to death. He feared the multitude because they they counted him as a prophet. Like, they didn't count him as a prophet. He was a prophet. He was telling them while he was preaching, while he was baptized, the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. The Messiah is here. The Lamb of God. John was not a false prophet. I guarantee in the jail room, I guarantee he didn't keep quiet. Bunyan didn't keep quiet in his jail cell. But when Herod's birthday, da, 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 I would sing happy birthday, but that is a copyrighted song that you're not supposed to sing. Did you know that? There was a time that with the copyright laws, you could not sing that song. And many did, and you could have been a copyright violation. You were a copyright violation. All right, so let's look at birthday in the Bible. Okay, here's Herod. He's anything but Christian. He, he's a govern. He's a governor of Rome, and he has a birthday. A birthday was kept, and the daughter Herodias, that's his wife. Adulterous wife. Dance before him, belly dancer. Nee, 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 nee. See my belly body? See my body, Jacob? <laughs> Dancing girl. His own stepdaughter. <laughs> yeah, the Baptist church. You're missing you're missing the the, the go go girls. If you want to be biblical. You wanna be sound? The biblical, the biblical, the biblical birthday had a dancing girl. That's the biblical birthday. And she was dancing before him. Matthew 14, 6. You want to go, you want to go to Matthew? Run to Matthew? All right, we're having birthdays. Matthew 14, 6. Let's get the dancing girls. I guarantee the dress of that dancing girl wasn't here. Dance before him, and it pleased Herod. You sick. You're sick. Wait till we read other places. Um. I know. Oh, I didn't write the notes down, but you wait till we get to Mark and Luke. Lord will. Wherefore he promised with an oath. 
So help me God. By your mother's tongue, whatever, I swear. To give her whatsoever she has. He, she pleased him so much with her half-nakedness. Hey, baby, what do you want? Daddy, would, your sugar daddy will take care of you. Ooh, I guarantee the Baptists hate me now. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you one thing about, I'll tell you one thing about the Jehovah Witnesses. They don't celebrate birthdays. They don't celebrate Easter. They don't celebrate Christmas. They are right. And the flag is a idol. They are right, and I just lost more people. The American flag is an idol. You got to fold it so away. You got to handle it this right. It can't touch the ground. At night, it's got to have a light on it, or it's got to be taken down. If it, if it gets mangled or wrecked, you got to bring it to special people, and they got to do a special service to, to get rid of the flag. The Bible, just throw it on the ground, just throw it in the back seat, just don't even open it. You don't like what I say? Tuck cookies. I think Jesus is pleased. And she, being before instructed of her mother, th this was all planned out, said, Give me here John the Baptist's head in a charger. Great mother! That's a wonderful... Mommy, what can I get you for Mother's Day? Hey, bring me that man's head. All I want for Christmas is John the Baptist's head. Evidently, she got more mad of his preaching than honey pie. But having his head off, and Harry wanted to kill him. John the Baptist wasn't your lovey preasy preacher. He wasn't the John the Baptist, the great preacher of the Jordan River. He was John the Baptist wanted dead. He was only kept alive because of the multitudes. Because he preached. And the king was sorry, nevertheless, for oath's sake. I'll tell you one thing about King Herod. He made an oath and he stuck to it. You know, there are Christians today, they make an oath. I serve, I do. You serve this woman to love your lovely wife with the death to your body. I do. And then they go to court. Well, we denounce this marriage. You, you now are separated. Okay, your marriage has been dissolved. Bankrupt. They didn't pay their bills. Hey, things happen. Events happen. Bible says you got you got to be careful what you say you're going to do. Herod said. He was going to give her anything she has, and he stuck to it. Now, what happens is cruel, is a sin, but you can't charge him with a false soul. And then that sat with him at me. He had plenty of witnesses to the whole thing. This was not done in private. And he commanded to be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. Boom. We don't have a government like that. You got to have this person sign that person, oversign that person, vote for that person, vote for this, and they don't vote like that. We got this committee, we got these group of people, we got this, this we got this, and, and now all the people that should be executed in America are still in jail. And they're still living. And they're put on death row for 20, 30, 40, 50 years till they die. And that's not death row. And his head was brought in a charger. I don't know what the charger has to do with anything, but 
Exactly like the girl wanted, exactly what mom said. Give the girl credit. <laughs> if you're going to give her any credit. Mom said, bring me that head in the charger. She walked up to stepdaddy and said, I want his head in the charger. The, the king, the Herod said, okay, bring me his head in the charger. They went down to prison. They chopped off his head and they, uh, we got to have a charger. Anybody got a charger? <laughs> and they brought the head on a charger. And she brought it to her mother. I don't know where the mother is there. I don't know if the mother's there or where. where. And his disciples came and took up the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. Okay. Now, I think I was going to read the two more verses, but uh, Genesis. I, I got a lot to say. I always got a lot to say. Genesis 40. And it came to pass after these things that, they, that the butler, the king of Egypt, Pharaoh, and his baker offended the lord, the king of Egypt. Okay, now let's get the scope of what we're going to read here. We'll go back. Uh, 40 verse 20. And it came to pass the third day, which was the Pharaoh's birthday. These are the only two places you see birthday in the Bible. One is Pharaoh's, one is Herod's. Not Jesus Christ, not the disciples, not the apostles, not the Christians. No one, no one celebrates the birthday. In the scriptures or early church history. I believe it is. I, I could be. I could be off by a hundred years. Catholic Church started two hundred eight. The, the word Catholic came two hundred A.D. Christ's Mass didn't show up to three hundred A.D. No one celebrated Jesus' birthday until three hundred A.D. A hundred years after the Catholic Church and. Jesus' birthday happens to have Christ Mass, M-A-S-S. -S. And when you look up in the dictionary, the dictionary will tell you a Christ space M-A-S-S. -S. You take the S off the Baptist church Christmas because you're stupid. I said that. You tell them I said that. Put the S back, stupid. And you got mass. Put it together. You got Mary Christ mass. 200 AD. That's a lot of years after your Bible. Here are the only two birthdays in the Bible. Herod and Pharaoh. We're going to look at. Job and Jeremiah. Cursed the day that they were born. Jesus Christ said about birthday, ye must be born again. I have never been in a Baptist church, and I've been in many of them. I have never had them ever have a birthday on your second birth, your new birth. They always celebrate the birth that you were born into trouble, you were born into sin. Job and Romans. A man is born as born of a woman is as a few days in full of trouble. When you're born, you're born unto Adam's seed into sin. Jesus said you must be born again. No birthday celebrations in the Bible except for Harry and Pharaoh. We're going to look at that in a moment. No birthday parties. Never once did they celebrate Jesus' birthday until 200, and that could be 100 years off. You can look it up in the dictionary. 200 years, 100 years after the, 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 the Catholic Church, or it could be 200 years of Catholic Church in 300 A.D., the birthday of Jesus. It's either or. I forget right now. 
And you're going to say, hey, we're going to celebrate the birthday of Jesus. birthday of Jesus is in, in the seventh month. Probably the Feast of Tabernacles. Feast of Tabernacles is not Christmas. The birthday of Tammuz, but let's get going. Genesis 40. You're wrong to have your birthdays. Came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and the baker. So what do you got to have at a birthday? You gotta have cake. You know who makes the cake? The baker. Offended the Lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was wroth with his two officers against the chief of the butlers and the chief of the bakers. And he put them in ward like John the Baptist. The birthdays in the Bible, two, three men, excuse me, three men, we're gonna focus on two, three men went to jail. Write that down. And your birthday celebration, your birthday, happy birthday, here's again. How many people went to jail? Let's get scripture. Let's do the Bible. John the Baptist offended Herod. The, the baker, we're going to focus on the baker. The baker offended Pharaoh. The baker bakes cakes. The baker makes bread. Now we know that John the Baptist preached against the sins of Herod. We don't know what offended Pharaoh. Of the guard into the prison, the place where Joseph was bound. Pharaoh, I mean, John the Baptist was bound. And the captain of the guard charged Joseph with them and served them, and they continued a season in the ward. And they both dreamed the dream. Each man, according to interpretation, dreamed the butler, the butler and the baker, the king of Egypt, which were bound in the prison. And Joseph came and he says, Let's move down to. <clears throat> Verse 16, 40 verse 16. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said to Joseph, I was also in my dream. And behold, I had three white baskets on my head. Do you know what's coming up in the next part of this story? Hold your place in Genesis 40. Stay there. But go to Matthew 14. Go to Matthew 14. Stay in Genesis. Don't lose it. And Matthew 14, look at verse 20. And they did eat and were filled and took up the fragments that remained 12 baskets full. Look at verse 19. He commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground and took the five loaves. That's bread. That's bread. Who are we reading about in Genesis 40? Back to 40. And find where we were at. I also in my dream behold there were three white baskets. Gee, that's in that's in Matthew 14, baskets, bread. In the uppermost basket there were all manner of baked meats, cakes, cupcakes. Brown, I don't know if they made brownies. Uh, bread. Specialty bread. For Pharaoh. What do you think was at that meal of Herod? What do you think is at the meal of, of Pharaoh? The birds did eat them out of the basket of my head. What did we read in, in chapter 13 of Matthew? Didn't we read about some birds? And Joseph answered, this is the interpretation thereof. Three baskets are three days. Within three days shall Pharaoh lift up my head from off thee. And shall hang thee on the tree. What happened to John the Baptist's head? It, it became separated from his body. 
What happened to the head of the baker? He hanged. Both of them get a bruise on their neck. When the guillotine was alive and well in Europe, and when they would have the guillotine travel through the cities, the city that the guillotine would be in, the women would wear a red ribbon around their neck. And that's the symbol, the blood and the bruising that that blade would give the person they're going to behead. It shall hang thee on a tree Within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee and shall hang thee in the... Guess who's going to hang on the tree? Jesus. Guess who comes up in the next story? Jesus. And he's got bread. And it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, he made a feast like Herod, Unto all his servants, Pharaoh's friends, he lifted up the head of the chief butler, gave his job back, and the chief baker among the servants. He restored the chief butler into his butlership again and gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted. So at this birthday party, the baker is dead. Back to Matthew. At this time, Herod the Taker heard of the fame of Jesus. Okay, Herod. He had... Pharaoh of Egypt type of the world. You have Herod of Rome and just the devil. Send his servants, this is John the Baptist, he's risen from the dead. Therefore mighty works these servants. For Herod had laid hold of John and bound him and put him in prison, the baker. For Herodias' sake. John is put into prison because he offended Herod and Herodias. The baker, we're not told how, offended Pharaoh. His brother Philip's wife. For, jo for John had said, it is not lawful for thee to have her. And I, I could speculate, we don't know what the baker's in jail for. How's that? When he had put him in, for he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude because he counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, Pharaoh had a birthday, Herod had a birthday. All right, for those in, I'm sorry for those on Facebook, but for those on YouTube, here we go, watch the screen, birthday. And we'll put a star after it, just so, you know, birthdays. We got three verses. All right, Genesis 40. Matthew 14, Herod's birthday. Mark 6, Herod's birthday. Okay. That's the only three places birthday shows up in the Bible. And every year you celebrate, and sometimes you have it. We're going to surprise the pastor on his birthday. We're going to tell secrets and lies. We're going to deceive him so he will be surprised on his birthday. And yet the biblical count of birthday, three times in the Bible, for Herod and for Pharaoh only. And look at look at the look at the, the togetherness of the verses. Whereupon he promised her with an oath to give her whatsoever she has. Okay, this is not in Genesis. She said, being instructed of her mother, said, Give me John the Baptist's head in a charger. The king was sorry, nevertheless, for old sake, and them that sat with me. And commanded it to be given her. He sent and beheaded John in the prison. Pharaoh would have to send the baker to the gallows. His orders. 
and the head was brought in the charge and given to the damsel, she brought it to her mother. And the disciples came, took up the body, and buried it, and went and told Jesus. There would have been people who would come and take the body of the baker and buried it. Joseph is the greatest type of Jesus in the Bible. Joseph is not there in the, I don't know what palace, whatever you would call Pharaoh's place. He's not there. Where the baker was and hung. Joseph's not there. Where John the Baptist is, Jesus is not there. Jesus is not there. And went and told Jesus. Somebody had to go word, say, Joseph, what? The baker was hung. Jesus, what? John the Baptist was beheaded. And when Jesus heard of it, he departed thence in the ship into a desert place apart. When Joseph heard about it, he stayed in a desert place. What's his desert place? He's still in prison. I don't know what more desert place you can get outside of the desert, but in a prison. When many people had heard of it, they followed him on foot out of the city. And there's a student seeking Jesus. Jesus went forth and saw the great multitude, was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. Jesus went about doing what he was supposed to be doing. Joseph, still in the prison, he's still in charge of that prison, and Joseph still did what he was supposed to be doing in that prison. Neither stopped. I'm telling you, you fight me all you want, go ahead, call me a Jehovah Witness, call me a heretic, call me a fool, that's okay. Am I become your enemy because I told you the truth? If you're going to celebrate a birthday, i got a strong statement right now I'm going to make. If you're going to celebrate a birthday, why not celebrate the day you were born again? When you were born of God and the Spirit. I'm going to tell you a foolish way why you don't. And to the error of Christians, evangelistic Christians, and to pastors of church. And you can ask my daughter. Can't ask my wife. She's going home to glory. You could ask my, my first wife. She's going home to glory. I just saw a man in prison where I was reading today. And I had to date. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find that. Was I reading Romans today? I'm going to tell you something right now. I can't turn the page. My fingers are not working. Forgive me. I have it here. John was saved in prison 7 10 07. That's when I was in the prison ministry. You know what I tell them? That your pastor don't tell you? That that soul winner doesn't tell you? I had to, I had to get this date by the date of my baptism certificate. I had to get the date of my wife through the baptism certificate because I wasn't told this. This is what I tell people when they get saved. When, when God allows someone to get saved in front of me. <clears throat> I think it's funny because we, we have a guy, and I got it written down somewhere, October 31st, two, something. A man got saved on, on Halloween. And I told him. That's what I told you. I said, John, that's what I told you. And there are other men that people got saved and uh, prison ministry and all that. And I said, if, if there's a Bible present, I said, you mark that date down. John, on July 10th, 2007, you write that date down. Uh, D'Angelo. You write down October 31st or whatever year it was. April 24th, 1987. Or April 24th. It's either 21st or 24th. For me. 
You know why you don't celebrate in the churches today the, the new birth? Because you don't tell the converts that this is a very important day in your life. You know what it is for them? Hey, we got another one saved, but don't tell them you know, what the importance of that day is. I bet you the date to the baptism, you know, baptism is not salvation or all that. I bet you the date of the baptism are were, were in, written in the oracles of the church record somewhere. In the records of that church is the date of salvation of a person that asks Jesus save is that recorded? Then how come you don't on their new birth? How can you celebrate the birth of being a born a sinner in a time of trouble that if you don't get the new birth, you're going to hell? And by the way, if you look at it really technical birthday you only have one birthday that's the day that you came out of your mother that is your birthday it's ironic stupidly that oh you know you're 40 years old I'm celebrating my birthday my 40 Nicodemus said, can I go back until my mother get born again? <laughs> There's only one birthday. That as anybody that is a Christian, and you hear this, and you hate it, or you like it, if you go on to celebrate birthdays, you are in sin. And James says, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Three birthdays in the Bible. Herod and Pharaoh. Two men are killed involving the neck. Something to that, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the charger has to do with, but the charger is important for some reason. I would probably assume it was a silver charger. I don't know where that baker went when he died. John the Baptist went to Abraham's bosom. The party. The party okay. Let's see, Mark six, Mark or Luke. I'll show you something really weird here. We'll get to Mark and Luke. Look at Mark 6.21. I'm going to tell you, you got your birthday celebrations all wrong. I'm going to show you Bible. I am going to show you from Scripture you're wrong about your birthday celebration. You ready? Mark 6.21. And when a convenient day was come, A convenient day. That Herod, Herod on his birthday made a supper for his lords. High captains and chiefs of states of Galilee. That would have been Pharaoh too. <clears throat> a convenient day was a date was was chosen. It was not necessarily the actual date of Herod's birthday. So what's the Baptist church do? Anybody got a birthday this month? It's Sunday and Mary Joan is going to have a birthday on Tuesday. Let's sing happy birthday to her. It wasn't her birthday, but it was a convenient Sunday of church meeting. 
made a supper to his Lord. Guess who called the birthday party together and furnished the birthday party? The birthday boy. I'm going to have a birthday party and I'm going to throw it. Now, who in America would have a right mind to throw their own birthday party? Did you see that? The birthday party was sponsored by the birthday boy. And it may have not have been on his birthday. How's that? I would not be involved in birthdays no more after you hear this message. I get down on my knees. I do First John 1 John 1.9. If I confess my sins, he's faithful and just to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me. Birthdays. Jehovah Witness have it right. It's a sin. Rank that up there with Easter and Christmas. And if birthdays are a sin, then the birthday of Jesus, December 25th, is pagan. <laughs> Only people that wish the end of Christmas season is the people that hear me say, I wish you, I wish Christmas were ripping in. Oh, we're going to hear Tamus, happy Tamus, happy Bell Day. Have I become your enemy because I told you the truth? Everybody wants the truth. Tell them Christmas is wrong. You'll see how much they want the truth. Tell them, hey, I, you know, hey, I just heard this guy on this video. You know, he says birthdays are wrong. Hey, listen to him. Oh, yeah. You just made a good friend. Like, share, get it out.